Clara is Clara is about 70 years old, I think. She has a daughter who's 45. So and I and she's obviously trained as a doctor and um, so I don't think she'd have had children early. So if we say that she's at least 25, that makes her at least 70. So she's probably the oldest character in the play. Uh, she's German. She was a doctor. And she is, in her own words, an artist. And that needs some clarification in that, uh, in the book The Old Curiosity Shop, which this is very cleverly translated from into a contemporary context. Uh, in the book, the figure that Clara is based on was a woman who tours travelling waxwork figures. And Clara, in this adaptation, also tours an exhibition of bodies, if you like. Uh, but these are actually dead bodies which have been um, treated uh, but with a, her own process of, <laughs> uh, to uh, make an exhibition of bodies uh, anatomically, so you can see them without their skin and um, doing all sorts of things like running and jumping and sitting on the loo and Clara's art is um, an exhibition of human bodies in a way that you would never be able to see them. They are uh, corpses which have been treated and often the skin removed so that you can see the workings of the human body underneath, what people look like when they're running or jumping and not just skeletally but how the nerves and uh, the tendons and everything else work. Yeah. And it could seem quite morbid but I think the interesting thing about Clara is that she's actually, for her it's about life and it's a celebration and it's a positive thing um, and it's in embracing the marvellousness of human bodies and, and being able to see them in a new way that might change people's perception beyond the, rather than the grotesque or the macabre. Yeah. She, she sees her own work as a very positive uh, thing. Yeah. She's a, f well she's a force for good. Um, because Nell has these has an interest in forensic anthropology, so she's interested in becoming. She's interested in the same things from a different angle, but she's interested in in forensic anthropology, which is about looking at dead bodies and working out how they died. Or from her perspective, she's interested in reconstruction of human skulls so that you might be able to see what the person looked like when they were alive um, and, and and that can be seen as quite a morbid thing and and Nell doesn't have any positive female relations in her life she doesn't have a mum, she doesn't have a grandmother she doesn't have a kind of positive female role model and the fantastic thing about them running into Clara is that Clara is an older woman um, she's very nurturing. Um, she's very caring, and and she has these interests, and and she, she doesn't think that Nell's interest is strange. So she brings a new perspective for Nell, both a new hope and, but both a, an affirmation of her own ideas and and aspirations, and that. Perhaps that is possible, perhaps that is a way forward. And, and Clara offers a window on a future which Nell had hoped for, but didn't necessarily think was possible. And she also is a surrogate parent, offers a surrogate parent for Nell, mm. in that she wants to look after and, and nurture her.